Hi guys, welcome back episode number 10 on the Alpha Gaming server. Um, lots of things have changed and you know, nothing has changed. We're, uh, we're hanging out at home here. There's uh, lots of little things I want to do, do around here today with you guys. There's no no major project or anything like that that uh, is on our on our to-do list. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's start off with the sugarcane farm here because this is um, something that I, you know, I, I think I finally have uh, the design picked out that I want to want to build. Um, yeah, I don't know where to start. Um, pretty simple up here. I got a, a dropper elevator coming all the way up, and the, then a sideways dropper facing into a hopper, and then it uh, comes into a set of hoppers. These ones are all going left, and then these ones going into the chests are all all facing into the chests. Um, and this works to um, as the items come up out of the elevator, they're gonna go left, um, and it works to fill up your chests like this um, because of the way hoppers work. A hopper a hopper will pull down uh, from anything above it before it has a chance to push it out. So this hopper here has no, no options but to push it out. Same with this one. Um, but these hoppers here, before the hopper that I have my cursor on has a chance to push it left, the hopper beneath it is going to pull, this hopper beneath it is going to pull, this one beneath it is going to pull. Then there's nothing else for this one to do except to push it into the chest forward. So this just makes it uh, really easy because once this chest fills up, this hopper is going to fill up, then it can't do anything else. So this hopper is going to fill up, uh, fill up this chest, then this hopper is going to fill up. And this just creates um, a way for us to, to have a, a massive amount of storage with um, with one input off of the, the elevator there. So that's, uh, that's kind of what I want to do for our um, for our, sh our sugarcane storage for now, because I think we're we're gonna start getting uh, a fair amount of it. Um, and yeah, let's uh, let's head down beneath. If you remember, I had um, I had the circular design in here before, and um, my main uh, concern, gripe, I don't know how you describe it, um, problem with it was that um, its its main design and it it, it worked quite well. Um, I know a lot of people that. Oh my gosh. Um, the main thing about sugarcane designs like this is when the, the piston pushes the sugarcane and breaks the sugarcane, um, the the sugarcane itself, as it gets broken, uh, kind of drops in random directions, I guess. So you, you only harvest uh, half or something like that of, uh, of actually what gets pushed off. Um, so the, the circular design um, used to, at least in, in from what I can figure out, it used to um, have a lot better better drop rates because it had um, had open sides to it. There, there, it gave you in addition to just being one forward, it gave you a, 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 a side as well. So it gave you more options for where your sugar cane was going to drop. Um, it didn't seem like that was the case anymore. It seemed I don't know if it was the snapshots. Um, there's definitely there's definitely bugs where where as you break items they're not falling in the the right place where you'd expect the items to be falling straight down. Um, sometimes they're they're jumping quite far distances. Um, so I don't know if it has to do with that. I don't know I don't know what's going on or if they change the change the mechanism or something like that. But um, it seemed like the circular design wasn't doing any better than what. Um, these straight line versions are doing for us, um, and so the advantage to having this. Oh my gosh, I, I look like an idiot now. Um, the advantage to the straight line design is that it allows us to to double the amount of pistons uh, in a single area, um, and these are all these should all be in the final place that I put them, um, and it allows us to double our efforts in the same amount of space, and. Um, yeah, it, it the these ones are working about the same as as what the um, what the circular version is doing. It's a, it's yielding about half or so, which is which is enough. I would have been happy with with the with the circular one. It's just that this um, it was a bit of an eyesore for me too. I didn't like having it above above the uh, above the terrain. So um, in wanting to take it out, I decided to, to come to straight line too, just so that we can we can duplicate our efforts. Um, so with a straight line like this, you have a water source behind, a piston above it, and a uh, redstone wire just running on top of the blocks to, to turn your pistons on. Um, and then I'll, going back to our last episode where I was talking about torch elevators, um, if you remember I had an elevator designed like this, which works, it works just fine. Um, 
where I was where I was talking about an elevator like this is uh, not like that is a lot more efficient for for every block you're going up you're using half the amount of torches um, so the uh, I kind of remembered after the episode the reason this torch elevator design I put it in like this is because we were originally talking about running our redstone down instead of up um, if you remember our our original intention was to um, have a lever up top to control our, our minecarts for going and allow them to, to come back to, the, to a resting stop. Um, And so, um, instead of that's that's kind of why I I was originally thinking about redstone elevator torch elevator like this because we needed to run a signal down, and that's what I've done here is I've run um, it goes redstone uh, to dust over top of a lever to dust over top of a of a torch. Sorry, I said lever because I was talking to draft school. Torch over top of dust, which turns off this torch over top of dust, which turns on this torch turns on the dust there. And if we apply redstone signal up here. You can see our pistons turn on, and we can turn them off. So that's all we're going to do is just run a redstone torch elevator down on either on each, actually four of them, maybe three. We might be able to combine these two, but uh, one on the outside, two on that outside, and maybe three and four in the middle here to to harvest all these, and then just it comes down through water sources into our dropper elevator. Uh, that's into this dropper here. Any more coming? To use some seeds, Whoop, and I guess ender pearls. <laughs> All ends up in the same place. Um, this might be a little bit dark for you guys, but I I changed this just a tiny bit too. Um, our original design was like this, and um, so it's a comparator coming to a repeater coming on around the outside. I added a repeater here because um, what I'm hoping is going to happen. Uh, why did that get locked? Oh, it's getting power from here. Whoopsie. <laughs> uh, uh, I guess there as well. Um, so yeah, I added a repeater on the outside here because as the dropper gets full, um, it seemed like that hopper was locking too. That's kind of weird. Two, one. Okay, I guess that worked. That's seemed a little weird. Um. Anyways, what was what seemed to be happening is this repeater. Um. Because we're boosting the signal here, um. You can get the same. I should, I should say this again, because we're boosting the signal here. Um, as this dropper gets full and it um, starts outputting a higher signal than the four dust that comes around the corner here, this can this system can lock up. So hopefully by adding a repeater here, um, our signal when the dropper gets full full is going to be the same on this side and our clock will continue to run because that's, that's one of the problems that we have with these dropper, I don't have enough stuff to, to simulate it, but if this dropper fills up, um, this clock can stall. And um, so hopefully that's, um, hopefully that's one little fix for that. Um, and yeah, that's uh, that's the plan for the sugarcane farm. Um, so I'm just gonna continue to add levels and then we, we just need to um, run a redstone signal down and that's, uh, that's pretty old it for the sugarcane farm. Um, that's one of the things that we're, we're going to be working on today, and um, I changed some of the glass over. Might not be the best time for you guys to see it right now, but I, uh, I changed the glass in the squid farm to light gray. I think it looks a lot better because we can now now see the water sources a lot better. Little things like that. Um, yeah, just little things like that I've been working on. Uh, do we get our inner pearls back? They'll be over here. Oops, oops, oops. Um, and then yeah, I glassed in our tree farm. Um, 
And the other thing I want to do today is to put in a pumpkin, just a little pumpkin farm. Um, same as uh, slime blocks, we you know we just need uh, some pumpkins for for light source blocks. It's a lot cheaper than glowstone. And then I'm gonna talk you through some plans up here too. Um, I changed around our our system, our storage system, making room for the auto sorter. Um, so what the the problem I was having is um, that at the end of um, these are where the hoppers for the the flat side would be going. Um, oh, pardon me, guys. I just have to to deal with my dogs. I'll uh, I'll be right back with you here in a couple of minutes. Hi, guys. Welcome back. Sorry about the pause there. I had to um, to go deal with my pooches. That's I guess not the best way to say that, but um, yeah, dogs need a bit of TLC. I got a couple of couple of young dogs in there, good little handful at times. Um, so yeah, talking about chests here and auto sorted, um, auto sorters. Um, that's what we're gonna do in the next episode. I think is to to run all run all this stuff. We uh, we're starting to get a little bit of iron built up from our farm there, so we we should be able hopefully to to at least get some of this working. Um, and yeah, a I guess I got a little faint of heart. I don't know exactly how to describe it, but um, this is kind of what the pattern looks like for for having the the three tall three tall chests like we do down beneath. Um, you need a hopper beneath these two to push into the chests, um, and then I think we can go. I had one there that I don't think we need. I think these two can drop down and push in, um, and then we need two on top of that as well to to run our auto sorter. Um, and the real problem I'm having is that to change like this the system's tileable like it, it runs it runs perfectly fine when it's just straight like this but running running it at a different height I think is where we might have a little bit of problems and if we try and um, try and run a hopper down beside this torch it, it can get locked up so we might have to might have to get a little creative with um, the the drop between sand and sandstone when we go from from three tall to to a single tall chest so we'll see um see how it uh, see what happens we can you know hopefully find ourselves a little work around there um okay let's go down to our sugarcane farm I came up here to get hoppers and that's it let's just grab some more redstone because I'm I'm burning through that too. Um, I, uh, I put in kind of as much of the pistons and stuff like that that I want to for now and I ran, um, ran the torches for one side of the farm be a little bit easier to show you this um, so I, I placed all the pistons I want right now for right now you know again we're, we're not really iron rich yet um, and so we're we can't really whoopsie can't really build up as much of this farm as I want to just yet but um, yeah, so we got three layers on this side, and then I ran ran a torch elevator like this all the way on the one side there, and um, we'll do it on the far side for sure, and then this side we'll do it on, do it for sure one, um, with at least this third row, and then we might be able to scab the the fourth row off of the the one torch elevator, and if not, it's that big not big a deal. We can. Um, we can just run it off, uh, run a fourth fourth system down. What I'm worried about is that um, the redstone might just be a little bit too long to, to run it. Actually, it shouldn't be, because that should only be eight blocks, nine, ten. So yeah, that should be fine, actually, just to run a third one and uh, run both these sides off of that. Um, but yeah, so the uh, thing to do here is put the hoppers in down at the bottom. That's uh, this way. So that hopper's facing into the droppers. Just run straight across like this. Okay, and if we put some stuff into the hopper, it should start going up into the elevator. Yep, perfect. And we'll see that up top here in a minute. Okay, and then the next thing to do is to run the redstone off of our daylight sensor there. It just kind of worked out perfectly that this torch here is on. 
So we can just run a signal off our daylight sensor here. Whoops. A little pothole on the road. Our uh, shovel is a little too powerful at times. Um, our uh, our wall moved back one, so we. Uh, sorry, that this wall, the the brick wall here, moved in one, so we lost the ability to run our redstone down beside uh, our daylight sensor there. But we can run it on the oats. Well, not really. Eh? Maybe we should just move this over one. Oh, because you're down. That's better. And so now, oh, if we take a signal off of there, it should be off. And we get a pulse. You know, just as we turn on this, the sensor. So now, how do I want to do this? I want to put a redstone signal right about there. And probably right about here, let's put a repeater in. Okay, and you can turn off. Okay, and now I think I want to just lengthen our signal a little tiny bit too, just like we did before. Okay, um, I think that should work, guys. I guess uh, we'll. There's uh, what I was talking about with the bug with um, stuff moving on us a bit and you can go away so yeah that um, should have put us some sugar cane up in the the chest there we'll go have a look in a second um, that's what I'm going to do with the rest of the farm guys I'm just going to duplicate our efforts um, for each of the sides and um, as we as we get iron out of our iron farm there we're going to continue to add layers up um, I'll probably only put another two or three layers maybe I think it's Actually, it works out perfectly. Just to have another three layers in there. It's on the the off torch there, where the the layers are. That would put us right about to the surface, and that uh, that would be a lot of sugar cane by the time everything is said and done. Um, so yeah, that, um, I think that's all we can really do for today because I don't really want to use too much more of our of our iron supplies. Um, so aside from running the redstone, which I can do off camera, I'll uh, I'll leave that alone for now. And the other thing I want to do today with you guys is just put in a tiny, uh, tiny little pumpkin farm, because um, we there's certain places like our tree farm where I want to want to use some jack o' lanterns, 
um, just so we have a solid block light source and it's uh, it's a lot cheaper than um, Okay. Um, yeah, so you want to put in just a tiny little little melon farm um, so that we can, not melon farm, sorry, pumpkin farm, just so we can collect a couple stacks of pumpkins and uh, collect ourselves a few of those. Uh, so some iron, some wood. And I have pumpkin seeds here. No bone meal. Get rid of that, rid of that. <coughs> I do need some dirt. And then some buckets too for some water. Okay. Um in time I'm gonna I'm gonna put stuff like this up in the blimp but um, that's that's gonna go on the main level our, our second level is just gonna be for storage there so we're not quite quite at the point where I want to put um, put that in um, so let's see if I can figure this out I've never actually done this I guess those need to be sticky don't they Yeah, it's a sticky piston underneath that. Uh, pushing up should be fine. Okay, so I put those in the building. Should work. No. Nope. Okay, so I guess it. Yeah, actually, we can just run it. Okay, 
that's what I want there. Of course, my inventory is full of junk. I'm uh, not the best at talking or working, guys, so just bear with me here. I'll show you what I have in mind. Okay, so we have our pistons there. You can see it's like that. That should prevent us from stepping on the pumpkin seeds, which was a big problem before. Okay, now this can get filled back in. Okay, and all that we want is a pressure plate to go right here. That's going to keep those pistons up. Like that. Actually, we need one more, don't we? Which is what I have that last piston for. Okay. Now we stand on the pressure plate. That should harvest the pumpkins for us and bring it back. Yeah. Um. Yeah, that's what I had in mind, guys. Um, you know, we, we just need a, a stack or two for the time being just to light up our, our tree farm and, and a little bit of reserve. And um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this back up into our blimp when we get a chance. To do go down the hole. That's why that door disappeared. <laughs> I was uh, I came down here a little while ago and I saw that one of the doors had disappeared and I wasn't sure what uh, what had happened, but that's why. Um, so yeah, that's um, that's kind of all I wanted to do for the episode, guys. Um, you know, we now have a, a little bit better pumpkin farm than we had before, and it'll go up into the blimp in uh, in a little bit of time and. We now have uh, have our sugar cane in and working, and um, you know with a, with a little bit more redstone, we'll we'll actually start collecting a pretty good amount of sugar cane every day, I think. And um, yeah, I think uh, I think that's what we're gonna call an episode, guys. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Um, next episode is gonna be about the auto sorter there, and uh, trying to figure out the the problem between those chests. And um, yeah, let's uh, let's call it at that. Have a, have a good day, guys.